Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about like how I architect my analytics layer in my Android app. So before I jump into that part, I just want to say a few words about uh, analytics. We all know that like um, monitoring the behavior of your app's users is like pretty. It's like critical to the success of your app. And if getting review from the Play Store is the only means then I feel like you should be using analytics because it collects uh, anonymous data from the uh, like uh, like the user behavior and you can get a few insights out of it like uh, create a dashboard and see how it's useful to your app and what kind of features people are using so that you can like stop developing or I mean what I mean is like stop developing on the unused feature and focus on the used feature more so, so why I'm saying architecting the analytics layer because it's not only about like uh, adding events to your app and call by coding everywhere like uh, add events to activities and make the code look bad and what I feel like if you develop something like this if you add some kind of layer and if there are like group of devs who are working on this feature they will be it should be like easy for them but it shouldn't be troublesome that's like my only focus so let's see uh, let me open the app and show you okay I opened it I went to dashboard uh, the notifications just trying buttons yeah I guess you need to like subscribe and also tap the bell icon subscribe oops my app crashed dang it I should have checked it okay let's see what happened so this shows like uh, what happened so I moved from home to dashboard and in the home screen I spent like three seconds over there then from dashboard to navigate uh, from the dashboard screen to navigate uh, I navigated to notifications then I tried to change a uh, notification value to true and false then from the notifications I went to dashboard I told you guys to like a uh, subscribe like I click the bell icon and also I clicked the subscribe button boom there's nothing over there later that means there's a crash over there this is what this is what I'm trying to say guys analytics like uh, it's pretty useful in many ways so I deliberately crashed this app so boom I just want to explain like uh, how it works it's a pretty cool thing you know so before jumping into that part I'm gonna explain like uh, what I did to achieve that kind of analytics I mean the data on the locket so so let me explain you about the analytics constants file here I just made like a few events which are like navigated events item clicked events and also made location change it can be added to item clicked or something else but to make things easy for you guys so I just kept a few things out like this let me so these are the constants file so this analytics constants contains like all kind of data all kind of events I will explain the usage of having all details in one file later and and we'll be having analytics event class so this class contains like event name and the parameters which takes a like string and any object the string is because you just want to know what kind of data it has and coming to analytics service interface there are like two methods which is for like initialization of your service like what other service you are using and also for logging and you can also add like a like set user prop and many analytics will have like a lot of other stuff so you can add all those methods I will explain like why I added this kind of stuff so coming to this part coming to events which I already explained about it so what my primary goal is to explain in this video is like uh, how can I add analytics to my app so say suppose I am I want you guys to like uh, open my YouTube channel right so let me add like a uh, analytics button open and I want to log that like what you guys like clicking 
Oh my god, you got a dance right now. Open YouTube channel. Open YouTube channel. And it should be the button name. So what I'm trying to do is like, uh, you were told to add like a new YouTube channel button. And you were told to add like a analytics event to that button so that we will know whether people are clicking it or not. So I added a YouTube channel event which is like a button so it is called like item clicked event and the buttons like stays there in the what do you call in the dashboard screen so the dashboard have like a dashboard events so it has like multiple events I will write open YouTube channel event and open YouTube channel event I'll explain like why I wrote this so what this thing does is uh, so your dashboard screen will only have access to the dashboard events so it won't be having any access to the analytics constants that means like uh, you added a layer so that you put all your constants to all screens personally I don't like that it's like the I like this way so that you can focus on your things so I added like an event to the dashboard and later there's like an interactor what it does is like um, it takes uh, it takes your events and it records like what you do so what I do is like uh, your oops what did I do oh yeah I did right so I get a YouTube channel right what is uh, interactor does is like in the view model I don't want to spam all the log event stuff so your analytics interactor will like uh, hold all your analytics service and also your events so that your view model looks pretty much clear and it will also be helpful for unit testing open YouTube channel clicked I don't know why I got this oh, okay that's something and you have a dashboard view model so in the dashboard view model you have a like uh, a button call obviously we'll have a button call on YouTube channel boom and what you will do is like uh, analytics layer on uh, YouTube channel clicked so you'll go to the dashboard fragment you'll be having a button I recently like a there's no button here so let me make it visible set on click listener then view model dot on YouTube channel so let's see what happens if you do this so I basically added an event to your YouTube button channel and it opened the app so I will go to dashboard I will click subscribe and you guys have to do that for more content like this and a bell icon and open YouTube channel let's see how it shows on the lock cat boom so navigate it to home screen I mean from a uh, home to dashboard and later you clicked oh, I forgot to change the name of it that's my bad because of the copy paste team open YouTube channel see things will be like super clear if you have like a, a good code base and you can like verify things super fast while developing that was my bad though so I click open YouTube channel Oh, see you got it and if you keep subscribe you got it and if you keep like a bell icon you got it so this is like pretty easy layer and one more tip say suppose you got a call from your boss like hey uh, I know that Firebase crash text is pretty cool can you also add mixed panels analytics I've heard about it and you don't need to worry too much about it so what you can easily do is you have like a if you have like a very good analytics layer like what I have I'm just kidding you can have a better one <clears throat> so what you can do is you can create a class uh, called mixed panel 
analytics service boom and if you see like what I did here all you have to do is like uh, oh, let me analytics service and obviously you'll have you have to implement them and you will be doing that here you'll be doing that here so basically what happens is like every analytics uh, service have its own type of like uh, sending data so I guess the mix panel uses JSON Firebase uses like a uh, bundle stuff and other users like a different format so all you need to do is like write a wrapper to analytics event to convert the data of the event to JSON or bundle or whatever and the last thing what you, what you have to do is like uh, I use just like a uh, I used dagger so your thing might be different all you need to do is like uh, there's like a manager analytics manager so you need to add mixed panels analytics uh, service and that's it you can tell your boss like hey boss added it check it out that's it don't need to like too much you don't need to like go to your code base and change a lot of stuff so everything will be like super easy let me explain about this analytics manager this analytics manager is also uh, implemented like uh, it also gets from the analytics service and you implement all the methods but what happens is it contains like a, a list of analytics service like what you use so this list contains both firebase and also mixed panels because you added like a, a firebase and mixed panels and for the debug you can add like debug but for the debug I added like a timber you all know timber right Jake Wharton so uh, I've added all these descriptions uh, I mean all the data to to my github repo just come here look at stuff and feel free to like comment uh, also guys I worked a little bit really hard for this project and have like more interesting projects like coming soon to my channel so hit, hit subscribe share <laughs> share my video that's it guys see ya